The moon hung in the night sky like a cold, unblinking eye as the investigators, bathed in the silver glow, stepped into the heart of the forgotten hospital. The air, thick with an otherworldly tension, whispered secrets that the building had harbored for centuries. It was a place where time had etched scars so deep they oozed with the anguish of a hundred lost souls. As the group ventured further into the labyrinth of decay, the corridor leading to Emily's vanished room seemed to breathe. It inhaled their presence, exhaling a mournful wind that carried the weight of bygone sorrows. The investigators felt the pulse of the hospital, an ancient heartbeat synchronized with the tortured rhythm of the lost souls within. Jenny's breath escaped in visible puffs as an unseen hand brushed her shoulder, leaving a trail of numbing cold. She turned, her flashlight cutting through the darkness like a hesitant beacon. Shadows clung to the walls, swirling in an otherworldly dance that beckoned them forward. The whispers, once distant echoes, now wrapped around them like ghostly tendrils. In the fractured symphony of voices, the investigators discerned fragments of despair and the desperate pleas of those condemned to an eternal twilight. The very air seemed pregnant with the anguish of souls lost in the labyrinth of the haunted hospital. The door to Emily's room swung open, revealing a void that seemed to draw them in. Hesitation lingered like an unseen specter, but the pulsating curiosity urged them forward. The room, frozen in time, held relics of a past untouched by the hands of the living. Dust danced in the air as if stirred by phantasmal breaths. The investigators, drawn to the skeletal remains of Emily's diary, felt the room's heartbeat quicken. The diary's pages, yellowed and brittle, whispered of spectral secrets. As they read the cryptic entries, a sensation of being watched intensified, as if unseen eyes scrutinized every word. The final entry, penned in trembling strokes, spoke of a hidden passage leading to the forgotten depths. The investigators, their courage and curiosity entwined, set forth into the darkness of the narrow corridor. The air grew colder, an unseen current that carried the scent of old memories and lingering regrets. The passage, winding like the bowels of some forgotten beast, echoed with the distant cries of the tormented. Phosphorescent moss clung to the walls, casting a sickly glow that revealed glimpses of twisted apparitions. The investigators pressed on, their hearts synchronized with the building's haunted pulse. A chamber concealed in the bowels of the hospital materialized like a specter. In its ethereal embrace, lost souls swirled in a macabre dance of yearning. Pale faces, contorted by the weight of unspoken horrors, gazed upon the living intruders. Emily's ghost, a silhouette of spectral grace, beckoned from the midst of the mournful assembly. The investigators, now engulfed in the haunted tableau, felt the gravity of their purpose. The ritual, a dance between realms, began under the flickering light of candles that seemed to resist the spectral draft. Incantations whispered with reverence and dread reverberated through the chamber. The ancient texts, alive with forgotten tongues, resonated with the anguish of the lost. The room, a portal between the living and the departed, pulsed with an energy that transcended mortal understanding. As the ritual unfolded, the lost souls began their ascent. Mist-like tendrils enveloped them, lifting them from the shackles of the haunted hospital. Emily's ghost lingered, eyes filled with gratitude, before joining the spectral exodus. The once haunted chamber fell into a silence so profound it seemed to echo through the very fabric of the building. The investigators, their senses attuned to the subtle shifts in the hospital's aura, retraced their steps. The air, once thick with the oppressive weight of lingering spirits, now whispered a symphony of tranquility. The shadows, once dancing with a malevolent glee, now swirled in a serene waltz. As the investigators emerged into the moonlit night, the hospital stood as a relic touched by the ethereal. The scars of time, though still visible, now bore a softer edge. The once forgotten building, having exhaled the sorrows of lost souls, cradled a newfound serenity in its dilapidated embrace. Yet as they glanced back at the now silent hospital, the investigators couldn't shake the feeling that the thin veil between the living and the departed had momentarily flickered. The mysteries of the haunted hospital, though unraveled, left behind a lingering sense of the unknown. 
a subtle reminder that some secrets, like ghosts in the moonlight, were destined to remain just beyond the reach of mortal understanding.